Cheryl A. Yap. She is the director of the College of Agriculture and Food Sciences Institute of Weed Science, Entomology, and Plant Pathology. And she is also the curator for Weevils and Hoppers at the University of the Philippines Las Banas Museum of Natural History. Her presentation is entitled Meta Metapocircus Species, New Jewels of the Mindanao Island. A short background of Dr. Yap. She is a professor, again, and current director of the Institute of Weed Science, Entomology, and Plant Pathology. And her work on insect taxonomy and systematics enabled her to discover and describe 27 species of crickets, catetids, plant hoppers, and weevils. She, con she continues to pursue, she continues to mentor students to pursue insect taxonomy. Uh, disclaimer. This is a pre-recorded video of uh, her presentation, but she will be available later on, on for the panel discussion. Now, here is her presentation. Good morning, everyone. Happy 46th anniversary, MNH. I am grateful to Dr. Victor Amaroso, Mam Ma Alma Mohagan, and Romeo Patano Jr. for making me part of the study or team. Thus, this presentation is the result of the collaborative works of the authors. Pitapocertus is a diverse and charismatic group of beetles with elaborate color patterns and structure colors produced by their scales inner nanostructure with scatters incident light. And because of their ovate body and colorful body designs, they are commonly known as Easter egg weevils. Beetles or weevils in this genus have hard cuticles with fused elytra, and according to several authors, present a line of defense against predation and are hypothesized to be distasteful to their predators, which consist of birds, lizards, and rats. Metapocertus is easily distinguished from other pacorentines by the following characteristics. Rostrum apically not swollen, basally with a more or less strongly pronounced transverse groove, scape of antenna reaching at least two or beyond hind margin of eye. This talk will be all about the genus Metapocertus, their taxonomic classification, where you can find them in the Philippines, specifically in Mindanao, the newly discovered jewels or treasures that belong to the genus, what they eat, and what dangers could harm them and their habitat. The genus Metapocertus Hellor 1912 belongs to a group of beetles, order Coleoptera, under the family weevils Corcolionidae, and subfamily Intimini due to the presence of road snouts and tribe Pachyrinchini which is the most diverse and complex endemic member of the tribe. The genus is endemic in the country and contains seven subgenera with 272 species, with its center of diversity in Greater Luzon Island. The data implies that surveys and collections were more concentrated in Luzon compared to other islands. The survey of my co-authors revealed that there are more unknown species that await discovery in Mindanao. Mount Kabunulan, located in Mount Hamigitan Range Wildlife Sanctuary in Davao Oriental, is a lowland ultramafic secondary rainforest near a riverine ecosystem about 350 to 400 meters above sea level and Mount Natampud in Pantaran Range, Bukidnon, is a tropical secondary upper mountain rainforest. The recent survey in these mountains in Mindanao Island discovered five new jewels that belong to genus Metapocertus. Jewel number one, Metapocertus bronzi. This species differs from all known congeners by the presence of yellow gold to bronze scale markings with green to blue scales scattered at the edge of the markings in elytra and pronotum. Their legs are entirely black. The new species is named after the Mandaya word bronze, meaning bronze, 
because of the prominent color of the scale markings on their integument. The species was collected in the buffer zone of Mount Hamigitan, characterized as a lowland secondary forest. Jewel number two, Metapocertus gaputi. This new species differs from other species by the presence of unique patterns of mostly light and dark blue, with some light yellow to white scale markings in elytra, pronotum, rostrum, and abdomen. Their legs are also entirely black. Pronotal and elytral markings resemble those of Metapocertus rudicolis and Metapocertus buchidonensis but differ in coloration of scales and legs. Elytral markings also resemble those of Metapocertus polyluensis, but differ in scale coloration. It was named after the late Dr. Victor P. Gapud, a retired UPLB professor and one of my mentors, a renowned entomologist in the country. His excellent work in corcolionids and other invertebrates was the foundation of and benchmark four different entomological studies in the Philippines. Jewel number three, Metapocertus villa lobose. This species was found perching on a shrub plant along the riverine ecosystem of Mount Kabunulan, Mount Hamigitan mountain range. It can be differentiated from other species by having a wider than long rostrum. The presence of blue to light yellow and gold scale markings and having two distinct longitudinal stripes in the apical half of each elytron. The pronotal markings are similar to those of Metapocertus chamisoi, but differ in the presence of light yellow to gold scales. The presence of an elongated stripe under the eye on its lateral side and the presence of two longitudinal stripes in the apical half of each elytron. This species was named after the DST Balik scientist Dr. Annabel P. Villalobos. Her outstanding support, help, and advice to the researchers of the Center for Biodiversity Research and Extension in Mindanao have been valuable to the realization of the research undertakings in the center. Jewel number four, Metapocertus minjoy. Resting on an epiphytic fern in the secondary montane forest ecosystem of Mount Natampud, Pantaran Range, San Fernando, Bifidlon, Metapocertus metapocertus mendoi is unique from other species present on Mindanao Island by the color and pattern of its pronotal and elytral markings and by having the two transverse rose gold scales in the middle of the pronotum may or may not confluent with each other. The new species is named after Mr. Michael Angelo P. Minjoy, the Municipal Tourism Head of the Local Government Unit of San Fernando, Bukidnon. His overwhelming support is very important in making the field something in Mount Tatampod, Pantaran Range, possible. Jewel number five, Metapocertus Idmai. This species is distinct from other species because of the presence of two circular markings of light yellow and yellow green scales formed by longitudinal and lateral margins on the pronotum. Also, the presence of four transverse bands in the elytra confluent to each other through the lateral margin bands. Named after Mayor Levi C. Edma Sr. of the Municipality of San Fernando, Bukidnon because of his overwhelming support to the biodiversity research program that leads to many discoveries in Mount Natampod, Panta, Pantaran Range. Species of Metapocertus are found in tree shrubs and herbs near or inside forested areas and also along rivers and ravines. Field observations reveal that these weevils are polyphagous but not considered natural pests of forest plants. A total of 46 species of host plants belonging to 31 families was documented. 38 species are flowering plants composed of tree shrubs and herbaceous plants, and also observed 8 species of ferns. Although many mountain ecosystem is under protection 
uh, of RA9303. Destructive anthropogenic activities are still happening in the area, such as illegal lagging, land conversion from forest to agriculture, and road construction. To know more about these lovely jewels of Mindanao, please check these publications. The authors are grateful to the OSTGIA for funding the research program entitled Biodiversity in Selected Mountain Ecosystems of Mindanao for Conservation and Sustainable Development. To DNR Reg Region 10 for the issuance of gratitus permit and the Local Government Unit of San Fernando Bukidnon for the help and support during the field work, as well as people who gave the precious time to contribute to the study. Thank you very much for listening. And may I request our moderator, Professor Anneli Sal, to start our short open forum. Uh, Prof. Anneli, you may have the floor. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Ma'am Sheng. Very, uh, very insightful and then uh, giving us an overview of what weevils are because uh, as, a, as a plant taxonomy, I really knew what weevils are, but thank you. And then, you know, ju new jewels in Mindanao Island. So our first and uh, our first speaker, the second and the third, and up to Mam Sheng discussed, no, or revealed about the fascinating new species in the Philippines, truly our country is said to be the center of endemicity and possibly in the future more new species will be discovered. Okay, let's uh, uh, entertain some, uh, if you just one or two questions from the audience. Okay, let's look at the chat box. I think people are uh, a lot of uh, afraid to ask about weevils. <laughs> Anybody? Okay, uh, okay, that means I have to ask my question, Ma'am Ma Sheng. Say so weevil, what is the uh, no, Filipino term for weevil? Are these, you know, do you have a Filipino term? How do you call it weevil in Tagalog? Uh, okay. Actually, they called some, uh, like the Pacarincus maneuvers, they call it gagambang robot. Gagambang robot, a robot, robot. you know. But it's, because it's actually a, mm -hmm. Sheng, it's gagambang robot, gagambang, gagambang robot. Yes. Okay, Tagalog term. So if I am just a layman, I would say gagambang robot. What I have in mind is really a spider. But how how come you know? Does it look like a spider? That's why the common name would be gagambang robot. Yes, at first, at first glance, it looks like a spider, but uh, that, that's why also gagapang robot because of the uh, this. Oh, what happens to Mam Sheng? Oh, yeah. Sheng, give me continue. <laughs> <laughs> on and off ang aking connection, sorry. So, kaya uh, gagampang robot because of the design ng body and uh, the scale designs ng body no, uh, ng weevils. Kaya so, namukha uh, siyang robot. Okay. Uh, we have a question here from Elizabeth Obra. Are weevils you know, considered as pests? Uh, for weevils, there are some that are considered as pests and some that are uh, only minor, minor pests because it depends on the destruction of their habitats. When the, since they are fully fagos, so whatever uh, plants available on their, on the area, they will feed on it. But like uh, Pacarincus moniliferus, uh, there are pests of cacao. Then there are some also the dull color, the brown and the black. There are some black and dull colored metaphysitus that are also considered as pests of um, agricultural crops. Thank you. And with regards to the color, so I'll take the second question before 
we award you the certificate. The rest of the question here in the chat box, we'll tackle that in the panel discussion. Okay, so colors. Do the colors of weevils affected by the plant they are eating, you know, the diet? Not really. It's more on their environment. And uh, they also have mimicry with other groups of uh, insects for just uh, for adaptation. Okay, so thank you, Ma'am Sheng. Please stay for the panel discussion. Meanwhile, you have to receive your e certificate. Let me read the citation University of the Philippines, Los Banos, and UPLB Museum of Natural History award this certificate of appreciation to Dr. Cheryl A. Yap for serving as resource person during the UPLB Museum of Natural History special webinar on research and collection. Given this 29th day of September 2022 during the museum's 46th anniversary celebration with the team, continuing excellence through adversity, creating partnerships, fruitful research and digitized collections. Signed, Marian P. De Leon, Director. Thank you, Ma'am Sheng.